Hi everyone, Dr. Ginger Garner here, and I just wanted to do a, uh, a quick explanation of what's called a transversus abdominis assisted, which is helped by the pelvic floor and the respiratory diaphragm, of course, uh, a TA assisted thoracodiaphragmatic breath. What does that mean? It means the breath that we use when we need to do something that takes a little bit more effort than um, we're used to, more strength. So the key thing that I want you to see here, hopefully you can see this, is the central tendon of the diaphragm. Do you see how it connects to the muscles in the trunk and the core, um, as well as the pelvic floor down below? Hopefully you can see that. So here, when the central tendon of the diaphragm is um, tensioned, so that means, imagine um, an umbrella. So this is the stem of my umbrella, and here's my umbrella. When you pull down on the stem of that umbrella, what happens to the umbrella? It opens, right? This is your diaphragm. When we tension it by using a, the transversus and a little bit of the pelvic floor, when we create intra-abdominal pressure, the diaphragm, the respiratory diaphragm, like an umbrella, opens, the central tendon is tensioned, and what happens to the rib cage when that happens? It opens, right? Contrast that with a regular abdominal breath. So just hand on the stomach, hand on the chest, take a breath. See how the rib cage really isn't moving that much? really happens through expansion and natural breath, no real use of the intercostals here. We're just at ease. It's the relaxed breath. It's a breath that helps you sleep. It a breath, it's a breath that helps you focus, but it is not a breath that helps you lift. Let's say you're gonna go CrossFit or lift something heavy or pick up your kid or move a piece of furniture. You need more than just a regular belly breath to do that. Um, just like a, a heavy, you know, if you're a power lifter, right? You need something more than that. And that's an even different breath type. So for the umbrella breath, right? To do the umbrella breath here and get those rib cage, the rib cage to expand, we increase interabdominal pressure, which gives us some core stability, and then we lift. This is what it looks like. If you're here, take an abdominal breath first, no chest rising, no tension through here. Right, so like watching paint dry, not much happens. And now, notice again, not much rib, not rib, not much rib cage expansion either. Now I'm going to draw in and use the transversus and a little tiny bit of pelvic floor. So watch my waist. See it go in a little. Now I'm holding that. I'm going to take an inhale, holding just a little bit of tension and a little bit of scoop. See the difference? I'm not really letting go of this. That allows me to use the transversus and the pelvic floor to create continence, intra-abdominal pressure, spinal stiffness, whatever is needed to create uh, stability to lift or stability to move. It's task dependent, it's graded, it is not a rigid hold. So I'm still holding it even now. You can see the rib cage. This is staying easy, no, no tension up here, no chest rising. So my breath really goes into the side ribs and the back ribs. So your umbrella breath is like, is like this, when I'm pulling in the transversus the diaphragm gets fully tensioned, the rib cage flares and expands, and I can do my lift without downward pressure on the pelvic floor or anything like that. So hopefully that helps you to understand the umbrella breath, otherwise known as TATD, TATD breath. Um, and it's a breath you're gonna use when you need to have that core trunk stability and power to lift a little bit more um, and to uh, get into dynamic exercise. All right, that's it.